Hi, this is Bill from the Upside of Downsizing. What you're looking at behind me right there are the adobe bricks that we uh, laid the other day, and they look a lot different than they did in the original video that I showed them in. As you can see, the mortar, the mortar dries the same color as the brick, and so you kind of lose the definition of the brick and it becomes, for us at least, a lot less interesting. So my goal today is to figure out a way to tint the mortar so that there's better contrast between the mortar and the adobe bricks themselves. So I've had a few ideas, and let me go over, with, go over them with you. So what you're looking at here is leftover charcoal from the mesquite bonfires that uh, we were burning for several months getting rid of branches, mesquite branches, and cleaning up all the trees on the property. So we have quite a bit of charcoal left over. And what I'm doing is I'm taking that, putting it in our container here, and using the good old primitive method of a rock, I'm grinding it down into a black powder. So the idea is I will grind that down to a black powder, mix it in with our other mortar mix that we made the other day and hopefully that will tint it uh, a darker tone. It doesn't have to be black, it just has to have some differentiation between the mortar and the bricks themselves. So I'm going to mix this up and I'll show you how it works out. Okay, so I used the first batch and uh, installed the brick doing a slightly different pattern and that's as far as I could get with that batch. What I did like about this batch is it was a little bit thicker than the one I had used previously on the other other side of the uh, solar shed. And this was much more soft clay-like, uh, which allowed us, or allowed me, I should say, to do a cleaner install and uh, really, you know, place the uh, product where I wanted it. So really, to see if this works or not, we gotta give it 24 hours and let it dry out. So I'll see you in 24 hours. So here we are the next day, and I can see a little bit of a difference in the tonality of the mortar as opposed to the brick. I can also tell that it's not 100% dry yet, but there was a little bit of difference in tone. So I think our next experiment is going to be not using ground up charcoal because quite frankly, that's just going to be inconsistent and adding a lot of labor to the process. I'm thinking of trying either some black paint or putting in, believe it or not, some black printer ink from my uh, 3880 Epson printer, which is a large format printer, and I have uh, very large cartridges of black ink and refill bottles of black ink, just to see what happens. Might as well give it a shot. I've got it available. So I'm going to do that, and I'll show you the results. Okay, so it's the next day. The mortar is really dry, and you can see that there is a little bit of color difference but not as much as we had hoped. So what I did yesterday was I made up a batch of small batch of mortar using some printer ink that I have here and made a little burger. This is just uh, another, uh, just the same mortar mix and with the, the ink added and I wanted to do a color comparison. So. What's funny is the amount, I just kind of guessed at it, and the amount of mortar that I, the color that I used, pretty much matches exactly what the charcoal looks like. So what I'm gonna do today is, I'm just gonna go for it. I gotta get this done. I'm gonna make another mix of mortar, and I'm gonna pretty much, probably triple or quadruple the amount of ink I used. I'm really gonna make it dark and uh, see how it works out. I'll show you the process. Okay, for this mix, we need one part clay,
to two parts of our soil. I'm going to mix it up good in the dry components. I'm wearing gloves this time because I know this ink otherwise is going to stain my hands real bad. So I don't mind dirty hands, but having them stained by printer ink, if I can avoid that, I will. And then to this, we add two cups of water. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add one cup of water and to the second cup of water I'm going to add printer ink. This way the ink gets diluted in the water And I'm going for it. That was probably three ounces. I'm guessing three ounces of ink. Let me see if I can tell. So I'm guessing three ounces of ink. Mix that in. Now the fun part, just mix it up with your hands. Okay, so I've prepared prepared my bricks, mortars ready, spray bottle. Going to wet down the surface a little bit here so that the uh, the dry surfaces don't absorb the moisture out of the mortar too quickly. And let's see how it goes. The reason I like this brick pattern is there's no brick cutting, so there's no waste. And we're just going to apply our mortar.
So the contrast of the mortar is looking good now, but uh, that's what I thought yesterday when I did the first, or the day before yesterday when I did the first set. Uh, we'll see how, it all just depends on how it dries. But this does has a, have a substantial amount of uh, black ink in it, so I am uh, confident it's going to be darker than the previous. Okay, so this is a second batch I'm working on here, and I wasn't even going to make a video of this this uh, portion right here, except that I'm really happy with the way this mortar turned out. Check this out. This is really soft, clay-like, and this is what I was looking for in the first batch, and the first batch ended up being too soft. I mean, I was able to work it and make it, you know, make it work, but this is what I was looking for right here. And how I changed it was I, re I made a double batch. So I did uh, two containers of clay, four of dirt, and then I did uh, three, and a half cups, three and a half cups of water instead of four and added the ink to it. This just allows me to really place this exactly where I want it to be. And it's really sticky because of the clay content. And so this just allows me to work in a much cleaner fashion. Okay, so both windows are now bricked in. And I was really happy with the second batch of mortar. It was really, for me, the perfect consistency on this window over here. This window where I started, it was perhaps a little loose. And I think that might just be, I don't think it's going to have a visual difference. I think it's just going to be uh, a personal preference and in terms of yeah, how clean you can work. Although when you look at the two of them side by side, it's really hard to tell. But how will it dry? That's the question. Will it dry dark enough? We'll find out in the next video. Let me show you from the inside real quick. So inside here, ran a little short up here just in between the bricks. Yvonne's going to be putting cob over this portion right here, but in between these bricks, I made a small batch that after I'm done filming, I'll, I'll put in. And on this side, you can see that this is needs to be filled out just a little bit too. And Yvonne is up here finishing the around the window, and she'll hit these last few areas along here. And when that's done, <laughs> and when that's done, then the first coat of earthen plaster in the solar shed will be complete. So this is what we did yesterday. We had a two by eight that was exposed, covered, covered in chicken wire. We coated that whole area. So now this is with ply, a nice plywood. Uh, there's plywood up on top, so it's a nice shelf. And let me take you outside and go around. This again was where the first bricks experiment was that we really didn't like, so we just mudded over it. And there's Chloe making sure everything's going the way it's supposed to be going. Anyway, so we got along here, and this was right here was a strap that I had mentioned in a previous video that we used to compress the bales, and how I was ready to cut it off, and Yvonne said, let me take care of it, and she did. She got a coat of plaster over it, of a cob over it, and she made it go away. So this is the south wall, and the south wall is now completely covered with the first scratch coat. And we'll come along here back to the other side. The bump out around the window is complete. And that's about it. Yesterday I got a package from UPS. The racking for our solar panels arrived. So that's going to be going up soon too. Anyways, this is Bill and Yvonne. Yvonne? <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs> We'll see you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. We really appreciate your support. Hit that like button, and uh, if you have a chance to share it, we'd appreciate it. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video.